Hello everybody, Siftry again, and today I will be playing Evertried. The game is a tactical turn-based combat roguelike, pretty much. What that means is that there will be a grid as if it's a chessboard, and we will be moving around. That's the tactical aspect, and the turn-based combat means that whenever I move, the enemies will move, and uh, yeah, that's it pretty much. So let's go into this real quick. I have played like three runs already, everything was going sideways. Uh, before we actually, I, I will tell you about an option that I have chosen, but let's uh, let's begin here and I will explain some stuff. So, th the game needs a lot of experience and calculations, that's why I have played three runs before I came and showed you guys, because um, I don't want to be stumbling around, and also I got salty in those videos, so let's, uh, let's try this one again. I might get salty in this one too. Greeting lost soul. You're dead, but don't worry, I'm here to guide you. Yes, indeed, you soul soul extend after life. Once their bodies die, others go to face eternal damnation, and there are other souls which are just very hard to judge, then you're here. By the way, the story, I don't think it's really important. It's just we are soul and damnation and whatever. Can't remember much from the past. Well, you do have a weapon on your hands, so it's safe to that you were a warrior. Since you fought when you were alive, you must prove your worth as a warrior here as well. If you succeed, you will be granted uh, entrance to your afterlife, and if you fail, your memories will slowly fade away, turning you into something else. That's right, uh, let's start getting used to the thermal body, try moving where I tell you to. Okay, and uh, here we begin with the isometric part, so I will just, the tactical I guess, I will go with inverted because that's how I have, I'm used to at this point, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you just uh, slide your keyboard sideways so that it is uh, in comparison to the map. Uh, yeah, tip. You can perform a dash across by holding left shift. Yeah, now we can dash. This is what a dash looks like. It can go over gaps. So let's continue moving around. Let's go and smack Aroni an enemy. So for you to smack an enemy, you have to be next to him and try to move towards him. That smacks it. Now the focus at the top right. Um, try to stay focused during a battle to prove that you're a true warrior. You see, you see this going downwards? Yeah, that's the focus. Hit enemies before your focus bar reaches zero to extend the timer. Keep hitting enemies to gain focus XP and increase your focus level. So we dash over here, we smack that, and now you see here this goes down. This is the focus timer. If it goes to the very bottom, you lose all your you lose focus and also you lose some XP, all your XP. And every time you hit an enemy, you gain a bit of XP for the focus bar to go up. So the idea is that you want to be playing a bit fast, not as fast as I'm playing right now. But you want to be playing a bit fast and you don't have that much time to think what you're gonna want what you wanna do and how you wanna move. Let's work, try not to damage your mask too much or you'll collapse. See so you at the top. So the mask at the top left is my life. Let's go to the first act, which is frost. The mask at the top life is my life, and time to, to, to explain some things here. So, I have three life, I have, as you see, the mac, mask has a crack in the middle, if I get hit once, the right side flies off, if I go uh, hit twice, the left side flies off, and then I have my soul, my life, whatever, which when I get hit the third time, I die. Now for the focus level, this thing goes downwards slowly, this is the timer that you have, if it goes to the bottom, I think you lose two focus, maybe all focus, you lose a lot of focus if this hits zero. And uh, at the bottom is the XP, so every time this fills, you get a focus level. Those are going to be more important in a bit. But before we go on, I will say right away that there is an option here to disable focus timer. I am going to disable it. I have done three runs right now, which you won't see most likely. Which, uh, which I had this off, so disable focus timer. This is a new option they added, by the way, uh, about a week ago in a patch. And... Um, I, I can tell you right now, this focus timer is killing you so often, so I'm just gonna skip the whole mechanic for now, because I, I, I got a bit tired of it, and um, if you guys hate it so much that I disabled it, then just comment about it in the bottom, and um, yeah, it is what it is, I will showcase the game like I like it to, and you can play it like that, I mean, the dev said, yo, we believe that you should not have actually use the disable focus mechanic, no, I, I'm gonna play the game as I think is better, and I think this is the better way to play it. Because this is a turn-based combat where you have to calculate a bunch of stuff and the game tries to focus uh, to force you to use the focus mechanic. And I'm gonna continue this round in a bit. Let's go on here. Uh, now, as you see, when I move over here at the top, this enemy is gonna move at the bottom or at the left. And at that point, it will be next to me for me to smack. So you have to always calculate what the enemy is gonna do. These enemies move randomly and leave poison behind. They can step on the poison of another enemy and die, but they cannot step on their own. So if this thing, for example, gets into the corner and somehow poison itself, it will not move, it will just get stunned. While if this moves around it, this might move into the poison. So let's go here. It's macaroni, this thing. Uh, this also cannot move towards on us. These poison guys cannot move on us. 
So as long as I'm moving, I can chase him down. Now you would say, aha, Sift. Here's the point where you should have the mechanic with the focus actually do work for you. And to make it so that you cannot just move around and try to smack him. Yeah, no, that, that's exactly the point I'm saying. Sometimes enemies are just running around and they eat up your focus and then you lose your focus. Let's continue over here. This is a turret, by the way, that attacks like sideways. Let's go over here so that that thing moves next to us. We smack it. Let's go over here to catch the poisoner off guard. And uh, here we can smack the wolf too. And we're pretty much done. Off to the next. There we go. At some point we will go to get to the shop. I think this thing is like a golden guy. It, it, it uh, drops gold or something. I will try to chase it down. As far as I know, if you leave it uh, last, then you don't get the gold. And uh, these guys here uh, move once and then sleep once. So now it's just going to wake up next turn. Let's smack the poison guy so we don't have to deal with it. And next time it's going to move. Next time it's going to wake up. Next time it's going to move. And try to predict where that thing goes. Okay, we got it. Whoop, that thing just sleeping. Now we go over here, it's sleeping. We go here, it's waking up. We go here, it's sleeping. And now we smack Aronia it twice. And we go on. So that small pause I did to calculate how I'm going to get the enemy would make it so that I would lose my focus. Uh, I really don't like to play the game like that. So we will continue with what we're doing. I will chase down the sleeper guy. Smack him once, smack him twice. And that other sleeper guy got hit by the turret. I think now is a good chance to smack the turret. Uh, well, sleeper guy just blocked the turret. I will smack him. Let's let the turret survive. Who cares? And here we are on the shop. Oh, hello there. Have you seen your face before? Who are you? You can call just me, just shopkeeper. I tend to small selections of powerful artifacts if you're interested. I update my selection time to time and you're free to purchase whatever you like. All that requires payment are your shards left behind your soul. Yes, indeed. I'm sure you're bound to find something like here. Just hand over those shards and it's all yours. Go on if something catches your eye. Okay, let's see what he sells. Tip. Skills and modifiers. You can purchase skills and modifiers on shop floors by spending shards you've gained against enemies. Skills are abilities you can activate with charges. Charges are gained by moving but cannot be gained by dashing. To activate the skill, open skill mode by pressing the number of keys then select your skill. Blah blah blah. How to use it I know. Modifiers are passive abilities that activate based on your focus level. This exactly is the part why I hate the focus level uh, being going down normally. You can al also awaken them at certain focus levels. And uh, you can learn more at help menu. So, uh, first of all, uh, the charges it said here at the bottom, it's like mana. Uh, every time I move, it will go up by one. It always starts at zero. So, as you see, I did, I take, I took a move, it goes up. If I dash, it doesn't move at all. So, I need to take normal steps to fill it up. And now it will stay there. Now, for the passives. There are uh, three types of passives. It's the simple one without any, core, without any spikes. And then there are the, I guess, uncommon ones with spikes. And then I would say they're like focus three. And then there are the focus five, which have four spikes. So it would be here and here, sideways and the other side too. Now, these things are completely disabled if you don't catch the focus level. So for example, this thing says grant a 10% chance of surviving a final blow below one HP. But it's only active at three when you have focus level three. This, by the way, is really trash in my opinion. Um, what that means is if an enemy hits you, you will lose like two focus as far as I remember. So if I have five focus and an enemy hits me, I will lose a life and I will go down to three focus. It will still be active, but it won't matter because I won't be in a final blow. Then if another enemy hits me right then and there and I'm not fast enough to get my focus back up, I will go down to one focus. And then at that point, this is going to be disabled. And then if I get hit, I die. And this passive literally does nothing. Now imagine if you're in a scenario where enemies are around you, you have to think about how you're going to survive and then you lose focus just because the focus timer went down and then this passive is disabled and then you get hit and die. How, how stupid is that? So I'm, I'm going to completely leave the focus timer be up and uh, slows down the focus timer by 50%. You know, this would be cool. Now, now you say, yo, Sif, you see there is stuff like that that you can use. Yeah. I have to say, this, when I saw it, I was super happy and I was like, oh yeah, if I use this, I can actually play. I'm gonna pay for this ability to actually be able to play like a human. Yeah, um, guess what? You can only equip three passives. So you will waste one passive to make your game a bit more human? Uh, no. Create a cross shape, blessed terrain area for three turns. Standing on the terrain for three turns heals one. That sounds like a nice maneuver. That's like that sounds actually like a nice nice spell. Um, allows the user to launch a powerful swing that deals one damage to a single enemy and pushes it one tile away. That's useful when if an enemy is next to me and has a shield. If it has two lives, I can use this, smack it, and then. 
Other orb. Shoot an orb in a line that travels for three tiles or until the unit is hit. Then strike the unit and up to one adjacent target, take one damage. Oh, this is nice. Let's, let's buy this. We got a skill. It costs four. Insane. Um, do I want to buy the heal healing area? No, I want to reroll and maybe buy a passive. Ah, here we got a force spike passive. If I have focus level five, if I don't have five, it doesn't do anything. Slaying an enemy with a basic attack recovers one charge. Mediocre at best. Marks a random enemy with the start of the floor. Marked units take double damage. But but the mark disappears if the user hits another unit. This is even trashier. Because uh, enemies have either one or two life. So this does uh, either something or nothing. 50% 50, 50 of the time it does nothing. Plants a bomb at the current location that detonates after two turns. Dealing damage in the cross formation. Well, this can hit me too. It says all units. So th this will box myself in and let me die, you know. That's another skill at random until the end of the floor or until the skill is activated. The level of the acquired skill is the same as the wild conjuration. Okay, I think I'm thinking about this. Gaining charge when I smack an enemy. Slaying an enemy with a basic attack requires one charge. No, I think it's trash. Let's uh, let's just go on. Let's go on. Yeah, let's uh, let's go on. So now we got our thunder skill and uh, no passives. Uh, that thing is a sleepy dog, so let's move downwards. Whoop. Smack here. Sleepy dog comes next to us. Smack it once. Smack it twice. Poison. Smack it. Come next to me. Smack it. Okay, we're pretty okay here. Sleepy dog. Smack one. Smack two. Uh, that sleepy dog's dead. Yep. Now, in the normal game, in the normal game, if, if I stay here... And don't move at all. The focus would not go down. Like right now, like in my game, it's not going down. Normally, this is not gonna go, would not go down. If I didn't have the option, it would still not go down. Uh, now that is supposed to be for you to calculate everything before you start moving. Yeah, I think it's gonna take us a year if I use that. And whenever I use that, I died because sometimes you cannot think how they move. I, if, by the way, uh, this is already extremely dangerous. If I go down or over here, these are gonna box me in. So I already need to calculate right now how I'm gonna go through this. If I dash over there, I'm gonna get hit. If I go down, this comes down, this comes down, this comes down. Um, I need to somehow... Actually, if I'm over here, this comes down. Yeah, let's, let's, let's start. Spike this. Now I... You see, if I dash over here... This gonna come next to me, and this gonna come next to me, and this, if it moves down... We got a real problem here. Uh, I'm gonna dash up. Nice, that got poisoned. That was lucky, by the way. Yeah, you see, that's why I'm not playing with focus, by the way. Because I want to be able to slowly just sit down and calculate what I have to do. If, if this was with focus going down, I would already be at zero focus. If not at zero, I would be at one. Uh, let's go here. It's macaroni, this guy. I see the traps. Let's dash over there so he follows us. Okay, those are sleeper. Sleepers. Go here. Nice, they moved weird. Continue. Go up and down. They moved weird again. Let's go chase down the trap. Just for some free XP. I mean, it's free focus, I guess. And let's continue. Okay, we go here. We dash to make it so that we can synchronize with this guy. That guy's gonna get hit by the trap. Oh, he did not. Come next to me. It smacked. And uh, that thing's toast. Easy peasy. Let's go on to the next floor. And it's a boss floor. In boss floors, the focus would not go down either way, so... Avslandi. This boss is really easy. Um, it's it's a boss that leaves poison behind, but uh, it itself cannot go to poison, so you can very easily just box it in. I'm gonna force it to move up, yep, and now it's forced to move up because of the fact that it cannot go down to its poison. And now you see it's boxed in because there is poison behind it, and it's not allowed to move towards a spot where the poison is. Now I'm gonna smack it again, and off to phase two we go. Now we just need to chase down the lit up skull, which uh, this can also get boxed in. So, very easy here. This is boxed in. Now we need to buy ourselves some time until I'm allowed to do this. I can do this. Almost got boxed in myself. 
This is dosed. Now we go to this part where once again we're gonna try to send it off to the side. And now it's boxed in and cannot move pretty much. Hit here. Off to phase 4 we go. It instantly behind us. That was a lucky one. And last phase. And most uh, bizarre one, I guess. Okay, come on, move up. Thank you. Done. Easy enough. I fought this boss like three times at this point. This would be the fourth one. And this area, I also have my... P my... Th this area, I hate one thing in particular. The turrets. Do you see the turrets? Do you see them? Did you see them before I said the turrets? Yeah, I hate the fact that the turrets... I mean, this one maybe you see because it's like an uh, outside. But what is this? This is a turret that attacks this line. And you cannot see it if you start moving. And if you play with focus... Oh man, you're gonna be like, okay, off you go. And boop, boop, two turrets randomly hidden. I don't know why they decided to make the turrets be the color of the area. That's definitely a big mistake in my in my book. Anyway, let's let's mark here. Let's run away. Um, I wanted to use my electricity, by the way. I wanted to see what it looks like. Let's try to use the electricity. Ah, gotta love that, man. Gotta love that. Gotta love the the game that works with it. It actually, I should I should have done this with my keyboard mouse. So this is a random flame that moves around and it might hit us. Actually, it's not random. It moves around this line. And uh, and this thing, when you move to a step where it's it's looking at. So for example, if I move to this one. Then it will target me one turn, and then the next turn is going to rush me down. Which is, the thi which is the thing that a lot of times can actually kill you. We got a problem. Need to dash here. I need to go up. Now that thing went and died. And uh, I boxed myself in, but I think I can still do this. I want to try electricity right now. That's stupid. How, how would I know that that would happen? I'm not sure. I'm gonna dash over here. I'm gonna get hit. <sighs> I thought electricity was gonna attack the target next to it. Doesn't matter. We're gonna heal up. It isn't that bad. And here we are at the shop, I guess. What is this? Actually, it's not the shop. It's like um, a RPG. Whatever story area. Hello there. Hello, soul. Also, it's not rude to start a dialogue with... Oh, I asked. Yeah, who are you? I believe you should introduce yourself before exchange information. I can't remember. Well, that seems to be quite uncommon in here, really. And besides, what use would information have to solve with such fragile memory? I see you are not too fond of philosophy. But worry not. There is plenty of time here to reflect on your states states of being. What's your name? Oh, yes. I'm Vitas Varas. A Thespesian adventurer at your service. Adventurer? Life and death are just planes to be explored after all. If you can free yourself from your own fears, you might find more about the truth behind our very existence and much about your place. What do you know? Many things can add up to nothing at all, depending on the listener. Maybe when we meet again, we can exchange tales of requests until then, my amnesic friend. Right. Anything else? It's hard to tell how much time it has passed in here. I assume you have spoken. Let us meet again another time. Okay, what do you want? Excuse me, sir. Yes, you. Would you mind me? Uh, could I touch your weapon really quick? Yes, I promise it will shift. You don't have to let it go. Just come a little closer, okay? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew just by looking at you. You can store charges. I what? Don't you feel their power when you move? Charges are very strange elements that somebody seem to be able to store. They are the key of manipulating matter in the dimension. How do you know the charges? Oh, I got too carried away. My apologies. I'm in so, and I answer to the call of Scholar. A scholar, are you? Well, uh, you see, even though this is another dimension, it's still a universe to be explored. And as in all universes, there are very strict rules on how things work. My job, if you all study those rules. Uh-huh. August charges seem to be crucial key to solving all of the universe's mysteries. You see, the first thing that I was able to decipher was their secret how to bullets are composed. Tell me more. Tell me more. Do you know about the soul? But in mind theory, your soul is your essence and your soul fades. The energy that makes up your soul will dissipate and repurpose into something else. The mind is composed of memories. If your memories fade, it will become mindless like beasts. The body is what holds everything together. Like a vessel or a vase, it can be glued back together at a certain number of times. And there are charges. Unfortunately, I still don't know what, how exactly they fit into the equation. 
If you have anything that consumes charges, come talk to me. We can perform some experiments. I think about it. How about it? Would you like me to experiment with the consume your charges? Yes. What does that mean? Perfect. I have a chance your mastery over one of your skills. I won't be able to help you again right now. Come back in the future. Which... The electricity, right? How do I know that mastery went up? Uh, this is still 1 of 4. Was it supposed to be 0 of 4? I guess I have to pick another skill up and see if this is uh, actually not lit up. It's an urban line that travels through 3 until you did sit. Strike unit end up 1 adjacent target. Take 1 damage. End up to 1 adjacent target. Did the electricity hit? Ah, I don't even know. Hello. Were there planes? The colors was... Hmm, excuse me? Oh, I, I was thinking about something. I must have been lost in thought. I didn't even notice you. Sorry to interrupt you. It's fine, really. I'd much rather have the opportunity to talk to a warrior. Yes. I knew it. Although I can't remember much from my previous life, I was more aware myself. Glad to meet the full night night. Where are my manners? I'm Sir Ink, the Laden Flame. You can call me Laden for short. Uh, I'm not sure why I got this name, but after what I believe were centuries of struggles and despair, here it made sense to keep it. Aha, uh -huh, that's a fancy name. I agreed. Aha, uh -huh, to be honest, I can't remember my original name, but I guess someone or something gave me the name after I got here in the tower. The timing on that uh, is a little foggy, but I'm still thinks so here. Last soul. Well, not at all, uh, not yet at least. I do remember some vague things here and there from where I was alive, but I can't help but feel that my time here is slowly stealing away my precious memories. How long have you been here? Hard to say. It's not like I didn't try to ascend, ascend to the afterlife and leave this forsaken place, but sometimes someone just refused to let me pass on the floor. Which floor? You would, uh, you would think that uh, uh, was one of the memories I would retain, but that is exactly what I'm concerned about. Hopefully it will come back to me next time we meet. Thank you. Be safe, my friend. Okay, everybody got a problem here. Uh, yeah, let's go. Do you want to do anything else? I'm sorry, but you don't seem to have anything that can interact with charges. Come back if you require something new. What do you mean, come back? There is no coming back here. Let's continue. Let's continue. Okay, now we found these enemies that are going to charge on us. So if I move down, it's going to charge towards me. If I move down, the other one's going to charge towards me. Now the thing is, if I hit this and kill it, the other one will charge towards me and kill us. So I'm just gonna dash over here and kill this dog. Simple as that. Now, now, now the other dog gets hit. This is gonna charge over there. That's not that bad for us. We go here. We go here. Can't hit this. The other thing's just gonna come in. Not gonna do anything. Bop. Come over here. Uh, Bop. And uh, once again, I want to use my skill. Send it off. Mm, I don't see any difference. Seems like mastery is only that guy upgrading. By the way, I didn't even realize there was a tower before I started the final, the previous round. I see the tower this time, though. Um, I would say let's try to get the wolf to go close to the tr tower. Although now that I'm seeing this, yeah. Well, uh, now you will see what it looks like when the golden thing becomes a normal thing. <laughs> Okay, we need to desync. Come next to me. We smack it. And that's a bit much. Off to the shop we go. Maybe find some good passives. Yeah, we found some good passives. So, prevents damage when the user has 5 charges. Consuming 3 charges instead. So, when I have 5 charges, I'm pretty much damage immune against the first hit. And recover 1 HP for every 4 enemies defeated. This is also really nice. So, I'm gonna pick this up. I'm also gonna pick this up. Now, uh, the time has come. Give me a second. Create a, create a trap at the target location that stuns the units that step on it for two turns. I think it's mediocre. Uh, plants a bomb at the current location that detonates after two turns. This is even worse because it can hit me, as I said. Convergence. Shoots magnetic harpoons in all directions from the target location. Enemies who are hit are dragged back and towards the target tile. No, I don't like any of those. Let's reroll. Actually, uh, let's not reroll. I'm gonna use my passives. Now, the time has come for me to say something about the passives. Uh, as you see, I have eight, um, eight focus. Now, these things, this thing here is only active at five focus. So, it will heal me. First of all, first of all, the passives have two levels. So, one level at uh, whatever it should be. So, this is at zero and this is at five. And then one more level at five levels above the, the one it's at. So, from zero, this is always active, even at zero. And when I have five focus, reduces charges, consumption from three to two. So, it's still, you have to have five 
for it to block but instead of consuming three it's gonna consume two so this is really nice and this thing here uh, from five at, at focus five it heals you and at focus 10 it heals you even more um I, I don't hate this i i don't like this part and i don't like the part and this part neither but i don't like this part I, I like i like this because i like the part where your passives become stronger when you have high focus but i don't like the part where you your passive exists if you have high, high focus and if you don't have high focus it doesn't exist at all so if i had for example three focus this would do nothing i would have to go up to five focus to start healing when i hit um so this is in my opinion I, I i don't like it i don't like how it's done i mean you could say yo you're only allowed to this is this is so strong that you should actually be able to play well to use it i disagree i think it should be focus zero and then maybe focus five do something insane and focus 10 do something insaner so for example this could be a focus zero one hp for every 10 enemies defeated and then focus five um four enemies or even five enemies and then focus 10 this thing you know uh this is every basic attack it would be so much better because right now the moment you go below three uh, three focus or two focus you're super toast and uh, most of the time you go down to below focus if either one you play slowly which i just disabled um or two you get hit playing slowly is obviously a punishment that's so feel bad i, I can't even explain how feel bad it is you're, you're just staying there thinking how you will survive and then the game's like whoops now you lose your passives try to calculate again now and then you're super dead so yeah i don't, I don't like this uh, but uh, i think i already analyzed this enough um yeah i mean let's go uh, by the way, this is going to make it so that I'm not supposed to use my skill that much, but it's okay. And then the second thing I want to say about here, which we will see later, but if you can go up to focus level 10, if, if focus 10 is the max, because I see there is like a ring that's uh, filling in and we're really close to closing up the ring, so it feels like focus 10 is the max. If focus 10 is the max, I don't know why the developers didn't think about this, but this thing does not work. <clears throat> If you can go above a level of focus 10, uh, if you can go to focus 11, 12 or 13 or whatever, then this is okay. But let me explain to you why this doesn't work. So you are at a level 10, at, at, at focus 10, okay? How did you get at to focus 10? You, def you get by killing enemies, right? So at focus 7, 8, 9 and 10, you have not get hit because if you get hit, you will lose focus. And you just defeated about 20 enemies and you went from focus 8 to level focus 10, right? So you're definitely at full life because you have this thing, you definitely are at full life because this thing is healing you every time you defeat an enemy. So now you're at full life and have focus 10. This thing doesn't work. You cannot heal because you are at full life, so basic attacks healing you is irrelevant. And if you get hit, the first thing that happens is you lose focus, so you go down to focus 9 or 8. It doesn't matter, let's say you go to, f to focus 9, okay? How many enemies do you think you need to hit until f to get from focus 9 to 10 again? It's definitely more than 4. So if you get hit at focus 10 and lose a life and go down to focus 9, you will heal with this until you go back to focus 10, okay? And then at that point, you will be full again. So this will never, ever, ever activate. So I will try to go to focus 10 and see if you can go to focus 11 and more. But if you cannot go above focus 10, then this is this is literally does not work. This literally does nothing. I hope somebody sees this and realizes. But first, I will try to go to focus 10. And you can't even imagine how hard it is to go to focus 10 um, if, you, if you play with the timer and everything. Um, I think I want to go here... That thing is going to die from the flame, so I think I want to go here, make them dash, one, two, hit dash one, hit it. Now that thing is sleeping, this thing tries to attack us here and this thing tries to attack us here. If I attack this, it hits us, if I attack this, it hits us, so we're going to dash over here to the sleeping dog. Okay, very nice. Now the dog is, uh, we go here, the sleeping dog is toast. We go dash over there. We continue moving. Enemies start exploding and dying left and right. We continue with the dashes. I'm next to this. It's macaroni. Move away and that's dead. And we continue. You see, I, I killed the whole floor, which was like seven enemies, and I'm still at focus eight. Imagine how slowly you have to go up to focus ten, and you will be at full life like harms all the time. Um, I move here. That tries to attack us. I move here. Okay. I cannot smack the firewolf. If I smack the firewolf, the other thing's gonna target me. The firewolf's gonna explode. 
And then I will have nowhere to run. So I have to either move or dash upwards. If I move upwards, the, f the wolf's gonna chase me and the other thing's gonna target me. I think I'm gonna go here with a dash. Nice. Now we move here. We got our first kill of the area. Very nice. I didn't see the trap like ever. I never saw the trap. I'm gonna get boxed in. If I attack this, it's gonna try to explode. I'm not gonna get boxed in. You go here and everything dies at the same moment. Easy enough. And I still, I still have not gotten focus 10. Okay, we see a golden goose there. I will chase it down by moving over here. And it's dead. Nice. Here I would say dash. Sidestep. Nice. Go next to it. It will target us. It doesn't have a shield, so I can one-shot it. The flame is always going around the, um, the little indication on the ground. The line you see. So let's continue. Focus 9. Here we are. Okay, let's think about this once again. I see there is a turret there. I see there is a turret there. So if I move sideways, the turret's gonna crisscross. Uh, you see, this is how, how quickly you can do a mistake. This is a prime example. If I move over here or over here, uh, this turret's gonna pinpoint this whole line, which means I cannot move on this line anymore. And then this thing is gonna pinpoint this line because it's gonna target me. And I, I will not be able to escape at all. I will get hit 100% of the time. So this is already one, one thing that the moment you do one misstep, you're toast. And if I move down, one of them is going to try to close into me. I think moving down is the safest option. And then I can go like over in this corner and jump through the turret. Uh, let's go here. Okay, the turret will kill that. Very nice. Not sure if the turret itself will actually get hit by the explosion. Uh, let's move here. Okay, let's uh, zigzag. The zigzag continues. Trying to make enemies move to it, to the turret explosion range. Oh, I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. Oh, I have the block though. Um, yeah, I have the block. Let's move over here. Nothing's toast. Oh, I'm not getting hit. Insane. Okay, I'm getting hit. Let's move back. Tries to hit us. Oh, no, no. Oh, it 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 got blocked. Well, we are getting hit here, though. So, it is what it is. Let's try to not get hit twice. There's the play. If I move... If I move down to the thing, if I move to the ram guy, it's pushing us. When the ram guy hits you, it pushes you. If I go to the dog, the ram's gonna be behind me. I will be forced to hit the dog, then the ram's gonna target us. Wait, wait, wait. So I move down, the dog sits us, the, the, target, the, the turret primes. I hit the dog, the turret shoots. Okay, let's go. Get hit. You see, from 9 focus to 7. Smack the dog. Turret goes off. Go down. Explosion there. Okay, and we're alive. And off to the boss we go. And I lost all my focus just like that. Okay, off to the boss we go. Step. 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 Mm, dash. Smack. Okay. Sidestep. Dash, dash. Move, dash, hit. That's it, one hit. Okay, that wasn't good. One step. Step. Okay, at this point, the first hit's not gonna hit us. I broke one of those things. Okay, we should be pretty safe here. Okay, seems like we're safe. One and two. Whoop, off we went. Let's go here. Let's go here. Here, safe enough. Safe enough. Okay, so he will definitely try to hit us, right? If I hit him, he will try to chase us down. Right, I will not be able to avoid a hit. I don't see how I can avoid a hit. Oh, I can. Go here. Now it goes where, wherever it doesn't matter. Now we chase him down. It's macaroni. Two, three. I guess it's three per time, right? 
Okay. We just avoid to a spot where I have avenues to dash. Okay. Once again, I have avenues to dash and walk. Once again, I still have... Uh, as, as long as I have more than two steps as a choice, I think we'll be, we will be good to go. Okay, so here... If I attack him from, from here... He will try to dash into me, and then... Yeah, look at this. If I attack him from here, he will die to try, try to dash into me. I will have to dash through him. Oh, no, I can dash over here. And then he will dash through there, and he was gonna get... Yeah, look at this. If I attack him right now, he targets oh, this area. If I dash through him, he targets back to me, and if I dash, I will get hit here. I cannot dash over there, so he will definitely hit us. So I'm gonna be forced to go around and hit him from here, so that I have the choice to go through him and then through this, or at least... If I hit him from here and targets us, yeah, I can go through him. He's gonna target this line. I'm gonna go through him. I can't actually avoid the hit, no matter what I do. If I hit here, we'll try to dash there. I dash through him. He tries to dash back. I dash here and he hits us. No, I, I cannot avoid this hit, no matter what. No matter what I do. Actually, is he not gonna blink? No, he's not gonna blink. Yeah, no matter what I do, I'm gonna get hit here. Okay, I'm willing to take a hit. Fuck this game sometimes, man. Fuck this game sometimes. Um... Are you insane? Yeah, you stay there. And now it's gonna be like, yo, run out of moves. Please die. No! We're dead, we're dead, we're gonna be dead. Man, some I, I, I was calculating there and uh, there was no solution. Did you see that? Did you see a solution which I didn't see? I mean, I made a mistake because I didn't know that this boss uh, pushes you. So that was definitely a mistake. Okay, stop. We're not hitting him right now. Yeah, no, we're not hitting him right now. Forget it. I'm gonna go to a space where I can literally just smack him. Yeah, here we go. Smack him. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm gonna stay in the middle. Move around all you want. Bye. He, when he was here, when he was there, I could not do anything. Let's continue. Ugh. Let's go. Okay, now, this area. These enemies here are only dangerous when their uh, bites, when their jaws are, like, gnawing. Like this, you see? This thing means it's dangerous right now. Oh, by the way, the healing passive is disabled right now. I don't have healing at all. I have a pa passive that I have purchased, and it does nothing at all. That thing's toast. Now, this thing, I don't even know how to attack right now. Uh, actually, it's not that I don't know. I have to either use the debris or get hit. And we're gonna go with, yeah, use the debris. Uh, let's try to get back up to focus 5. I have never seen what happens on focus 10. That thing's charging us. They're charging us. It's macaroni. Run away. This does not have a shield. And now it's gonna move. Okay, we need to desync with this thing. Oh, thank you. Life steel is activated. Energy armor is upgraded. That thing, this thing here, as far as I know, when you hit it, it explodes. So we're just not gonna go close to it. You dash towards us. Smack one. Charge. Smack two. We healed. Pretty useless, but we did heal. We dash. I'm boxed in. Uh, I don't see how we escape this. Damn meteor, man! Th these meteors are retarded. I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, this, this, this is extremely stupid. Okay, the enemy decided to actually not play normally. That's the first time I'm seeing that thing happen. 
Because the enemy did not move normally there. Otherwise, we were getting hit for sure. Mm -hmm. Let's bait this thing into attacking. Rock. Good hit. Let's chase down the money maker. Now, if uh, this was with focus, if we played with the focus timing out on its own, the money maker would not be possible to get chased down from us. Like at all. Man, forget the money. Forget the money. I don't care. Let's go. Oh no, the shop, who cares? Passives. Max random enemy. Grant 10% chance to... Uh, another thing that doesn't even work. Grant 10% chance of surviving a final blow with 1 HP. Focus level 3. So if you're at focus level 6 and get hit 2 times, you go down to focus level 1. And uh, then you die because this thing doesn't work. Basic attacks performed immediately after dash did one more damage. You know what? I'm gonna take that. Give me this. Bounce. What is this? Allows the user to launch a powerful swing that deals one damage to a single enemy and pushes it one tile away. Is this for enemies that are next to you? I guess it's, this is for enemies that are next to you. Let, let's buy this. It needs three pips. Insane. Insanely bad skill. Um, yeah, I mean, let's continue. Go here. We go here. Let's macaroni that guy. Come closer, boys. I need to run, by the way. That thing has a bite, which means it's gonna bite us. Of course. I'm not sure if I can attack the shield on its front side, so I'm not even gonna take the risk. Okay, we got our... We got our power back up. Everything's exploding. How many are falling from the sky? That thing wants to bite. Still wants to bite. I need to desync with it. Wants to bite. Toast. Let's go. Let's move over here. I have my powered up boost now, Bob. You take two damage. Yeah, the dash doing two damage is good. Dash over here. I can't smack it right now, but I'm gonna get hit. So move. Okay, right now that thing is not biting us, so we can go here. I had the damage boost either way, so that was a safe move. Baited into attacking us. Hit. That thing's gonna target. Hit. Done. Let's go. Still charge 7. I focus 7. Okay. Uh, let's bait that into attacking us. Damn it. Okay, let's get the damage boost. We're gonna dash here. There are a thousand things happening at this moment. Okay, we go here. Well, I'm boxed in again. I wanted to just do a move. But no. Traps gotta fall, man. We gotta have the traps falling from the sky. And we're boxed in. But at least I got the shield. How much range does this thing have? One... Uh, well, I'm gonna be taking a willing hit here. Okay. Now, if I hit this, the other thing's gonna target us. So, I'm gonna just do a dash. Dash. Nice. Dash. Okay, time to start some simple steps. Bait an enemy into a trap. Okay, now we got a good, good, good positioning going. Smack. 
Yeah, you charge into an explosion. Win. Oh, being able to take a hit. I instantly start with something above me trying to hit me. Being able to take a hit is really important. I think I should just dash. That thing's gonna be start. Will will bite me most likely. I don't even know how exactly it works with a meteor and stuff. Uh, guess I could go for a bait on that thing. Huh. I think I'm gonna be bitten if I go there. Let's go here. Let's dash down. I'm boxing myself in. Too many meteors. Yeah, that thing's not gonna attack us in time. Next. Next. Okay. Meteor. And we won. Off we go. Boss fight! Porskido! Porskid! Okay, the Tower Matrix. I will first start moving a bit. Laser, razor, 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 razor. Laser. Yeah, we continue spamming punches here. And uh, that's pretty much what you do in this boss fight, by the way. You smack the crystal into the boss. You chase it down. And you smack her on it. And now we start the second phase of this. Which is, uh, you go over to these. With a ball of void. Now the crystal's gonna fall. Yeah. You go over here. See where the crystal goes. It's macaroni. Avoid. And now, now is a good chance that, to show that I can actually farm here a bit. This laser will never hit me in the middle. So as long as I'm not in the middle, I'm safe. And as long as the crystal is where it is at right now, I'm also safe. Uh oh. Let's not risk it. Is this always moving? Yeah, seems like it. Wait, can I not hit? Wait, can I not hit? You're kidding me right now. I'm locked, by the way. Is there not? Ah, okay, I found, I found the way. So I have to go over here and here and smack it. Okay, I, I don't think I want to be playing around with this anymore. Uh, let's just go and uh, get it done, I guess. This is... Thing protects us from the laser. I don't know, I wanted to farm up some focus, but I ah, forget it. We're protected. Wait, can I even hit that crystal right now? Oh, I have to go. Okay, I have to go from here. This is like a little puzzle. Here, by the way, you see the enemy having like. You're kidding me right now. Do you see the enemy, whenever he lasers, you see at the top that uh, it loses some... Uh, what's it called? Oh, that's not the wrong... that's not the right way. Uh-huh, I understand now. The enemy loses some... Um, what's it called? Some energy. Okay, the... the, the okay, we, we just lost the crystal. Uh, I will continue farming focus until the next crystal spawns. Uh, that, that that crystal is lost already. Okay, I'm out. We smack it here. The crystal, we just lost the crystal again. Damn it! Ah, uh, well at least it's timing out slowly. Smack this. Can I get a well-positioned crystal for once? We lost the crystal again. Which 
chasing it down. Okay, now we can do it. We can do it! We didn't lose the crystal! I'm ready for the boss. What? Hop. Hop. We hit. Hop. Whoop! We are at 10 focus. Now can you go above 10 focus? Stop moving me, man. It looks like you can. Can I get it here in the middle? No, of course not. Let's go here to smack that. Please don't give me a bad laser. Well, it is a bad laser, but... It didn't count. Please end. Yes, thank you. And we are almost in focus. Okay, so I was wrong about the focus thing. I was wrong about the focus thing. Fourth area. So this is the area I've died. Um, once. This is the second time I'm here. So these guys are not what you think they are. These neither. So these guys move two steps each turn and attack whatever's in their path. I'm hit. Nope, I'm not hit. Yeah, there is a win to it also. And these things move almost randomly. Move once every two turns and uh, they move almost randomly so they can just randomly come along and hit you. But I'm not 100% sure how they work. They definitely activate the traps. These traps here, when they when you hit them from one side, they throw a spike on the other side. Um, I would say chase down the mage. Mage misses. We dash away. We got the two damage hit. That thing will always zigzag. Whoop, there is an air hitting us. Whoop. Mage is targeting us. I can't dash to him. That thing's about to bite, but it's never gonna bite. Uh, that enemy is just spamming. Go here for a bait. I'm now next to it. I hate the air, but it is what it is. That thing's running towards the trap. And it's toast. Up to the next area we go. Still traps, still spiky boys. Uh, that guy is not biting right now, so... I'm not willing to take the hit though. I'm gonna dash here and smack this guy. That guy's gonna spawn. I was expecting that. Okay, this is safe. Bye. This is safe. Bye. So the first trap hit activates the trap. The second one I have no idea. Bye. The second one I think the trap just dies. And now I'm in the middle of the board. And uh, I think I will either go to 11 focus right now or it's gonna be stuck where it is right now. So... Um, I would say let's get rid of this thing first. Which didn't even move. I forgot. I was smacking this. Ah, I had high hopes to learning. What? Okay, I guess. Ah, genius move mage. Chase down the money. Why not, you know? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, for me, throws traps forever? Seems like it. What's an explosion? No! Wow, wow. I thought I moved and it exploded. Oh, what's this? It refills ultimate skill charges. I don't have an ultimate skill. What are you talking about? Stuns enemies. Reduce the cost of unarmed skill each floor by one. Yeah, the dummy. 20% chance to pacify the enemy, convincing it to not attack the caster for five turns. Plants a bomb. I don't like either of these. Let's let's buy this. I, I don't have an ultimate skill. Well. Uh, and here you see that you can only have three skills, which is insanely bad, by the way. Um, I like what I have. I like the hit. I like the heal. I like everything. Uh, let's uh, let's just leave. 
I mean, I can buy the damage. Oh, I just got an ultimate skill. What? This this was not here before. Prom names, guys. Outer global. Type outer global. Description. Summons a star storm at random locations. Any unit hit by a meter instantly dies. This can kill us, by the way. This can kill us. Ah, uh, 50% pacify. Let's go with 50% pacify. This is so bad. Why would you not pick up the dummy? Well, because dummy is even worse. Dummy, dummy, you place the dummy, you lose your turn, and uh, then the enemy just smacks it and nothing changes. The dummy is so bad. If, for example, I take the dummy and I place it here, this enemy is going to hit it. Everybody else is going to move, and I'm going to be stuck in the place. If I play the dummy here, maybe I have to... I guess you have to set up the dummy earlier. Let's... Um, that thing should not move first turn. So we go with the dash. But then the mage is going to target us right away. Mm, and this thing's going to spiky eat. This thing is going to do its jaws next turn. This thing's going to do its jaws. If I dash over here, this is going to target us. I think I, I should just do a normal step. And then like in a normal step here. I'll smack this. Now I do a dash. Spidey boy moves. Toasted him. Nice. Okay, okay. Now I just do a normal step. Here. Avoid the mage hit. Okay. Do a jump over here. This is safe. Okay, I cannot smack it. Oh, it's not smack. Uh, yeah, it's not safe anymore. No matter what of the two I attack, the other one's gonna hit us. We dash back. Uh, I'm still not sure if you can attack it from the front, so I'm gonna avoid completely. Uh, I'm gonna dash over here. Okay, now this is safe. Yep. That thing's behind me. I cannot smack the mage right now. Let's go here. Got it. I'm still not sure about this, the bite. The mage just killed himself. Okay. Go here, and we smack, and we're done. Nice. Okay, a bunch of mages. Mm. I mean, I can just do a dash to the mage. What will they do? If I move upwards... That mage is gonna target us for sure. And that that thing's going towards the trap. Most likely gonna hit us. I think I wanna go normal step towards the mage. Yeah, he's gonna cast. Now the other mage is gonna cast. And the other mage too, which uh, we're gonna just avoid and let him kill each other. It doesn't count like that. Very bad. Very bad. Uh, let's try to set up our we don't take damage first hit type of move. Okay, I see the bitey boys are ready to destroy us. I need to get away from this area. Ah, this bitey boy is safe. But everybody is about to cast on us. If I attack this bitey boy, these two mages are both going to cast on us. These lines are going to be dangerous. This mage is going to cast on us. This this step here is going to be safe. So we can kill the bitey boy. Here we go. Yep, get toasted. Oh, you get toasted. Target me, yes. Yes, target me. Okay, this is safe. Not anymore. Now this is safe. Close encounters, man. Close encounters. Okay, I need to have an escape, escape plan. And the escape plan is... This. Yeah... I'm gonna dash because I think the wind's about to blast us into our death. Okay, let's get rid of this mage in the background. 
Wind's coming in. I knew it. What's happening here? I trust the indications on the ground. Okay, you're toast. Dash. Nope, that was a mistake. Uh, go here. I'm gonna play it safe. I got time. Let's get... Go here. Yep, exactly. Let's go. Yep, nice. You're a toast. Now the mage is gonna run. We're gonna bait him. That's over. Imagine all this thing without with the focus going down. Yeah, no. No thank you. Um, maybe I want to use my ultimate just for the funsies. But I don't know what it does. So I'm really afraid of it. Uh, if I go to the mage, it's gonna target us. And then the next... Actually... Next turn, the next mage is going to target us. I think I just want to take a step. And now if I go to the wind. Go wind. I'll run back. Perfect. That was actually the plan. Wind. Wind. The wind is insane. Uh... Move. I want to set up my shield thing. Go here. Trigger the wind. Run back. And yeah, that's it. Got hit. You get hit. Um, if I move up, I'm getting hit. Dash. I cannot avoid the hit here, no matter what I do. Yeah, no matter what I do, I'm getting hit here. I should have gone away from that corner a long time ago. Uh, I guess we make a run for it and hope the wind somehow saves me. Nope. Okay, now we run. And let the enemies get hit by the trap. And we even heal. We lost our focus, but we're still good to go. This corner is a death sentence! Um, dash over, then the mage targets us. Yeah, we're toast. I guess I have to dash here. If I go to the mage, this thing is gonna chase us down. Then I, if I go, theoretically this should go down and I can dash through the mage. Theoretically, this is going to be here. If I dash over there, then this thing is gonna smack us. Oh no, if I go here and this dashes towards us, towards us, I can just smack it. Yeah. Oh no, well, guess what? Oh, it's a different enemy. It's a different enemy, it's a different enemy. I thought it was this thing. Well, this is stupid, by the way, that they are the same enemy, but the difference is this one. Um, I don't have the active, I don't have this active here. I don't have this active at focus level 8, of course. Which says that I maintain the, the damage. Mm, well, we go here. We can smack Roni the wolf. Nice, double casts coming in. Yeah, we dash downwards. Those things will just attack the trap. They're stupid. Okay, now is a good chance to get rid of one of them. Thing's gonna slide and it can't attack us right now. Uh, this thing should theoretically not attack us. Double mages. Okay, we run. Now the next mage is targeting us. That was a good chance to set up our pips. Charges, whatever they're called. Um, let's move here. Nice. Another mage is attacking us. Okay. Well, this uh, mage got boxed in, so... Bye. 
I see the targeting happening there. Don't you guys be afraid. We're gonna avoid that. Okay, we smack the mage. We smack this thing. We chase down the mage to also get our ability back. Okay, now we go for this. Change of plans. We go here. That thing cannot actually hit us. Uh, we avoid. We chase the mage down. I guess. I guess I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. I've oh, got it. Here, chase me down. Go here, blood. Okay, we're done. Got it. Ooh. Ah, man. This whole game is not possible with. Oh. The Wanderer. Never fought this boss. Maybe we lose. He has four charges, by the way. Knight Slayer. Uh huh. Normal move. Normal move. Normal move. Smack him. I smack him. He smacks me. Okay, normal move. Normal move. Okay, I cannot get hit right now. It was a mistake, my dude. How much charge do you have? What are you doing? Smack him. Smack him. Oh, he was doing... He was doing a... Skill level up. Hellish Blades. Ah, oh, that's how you level up your skills. What's the targeting? I don't know what the targeting is. I'm gonna straight up not care. I cannot desync. Whoop, he, he... I like how he desyncs with me. Whoop. The same? That's it? Are you insane? Is this a joke? He's doing a uh, heal again. It's not a heal, actually. I guess it's... Um, Concentrate. Soul Siphon. I'm leveling up skills. Nice. What am I lo looking at right now? I don't know what I'm looking at right now. Is this the boss fight? Is this the boss fight? Well, I'm damaged immune right now, so I don't see what I'm supposed to do. I can smack him forever if you want. Is this going to be the whole fight? I guess the game wants me to use skills. Let's try to use a skill. Does the game want me to use skills? I want to see what happens if I step on this. I got hit, that's what happens. I got my skills back. Well, the only logical thing here, to be honest, as far as I see this, is to use a skill. I need to get some distance. Push him back. Okay, now let's get some distance. Okay, does this thing work? Of course not. Um, excuse me. Let's move back. Okay, let's now try to use it and see if it actually works. Seems to work. He got hit. I'm gonna keep him in the corner. need energy. Mm, okay, he moves. Go with electricity. We go with the same thing again. Is that the fight? This is a really boring fight if that's the fight.
What happens if he dashes towards me? I'm gonna take the gamble. Aha. Uh -huh. What? Are these bombs? Can I dash through this? Let's move down. Move down once again. Let's throw this onto him. Ah, that was it. Ah, okay. Okay. Off to the final area we go. I think this is the final area. One hour and ten minutes. I'm gonna blast through this game. I don't care. It's one one and a half hour video. YOLO. We're gonna just beat the game right away. Or lose. We might lose in a bit. Um... Yeah, I mean, we continue. I got a fourth skill slot, by the way. Yeah, I got a fourth skill slot. Let's go with... Uh, I have no idea what those things do. Okay, let's make that mage attack us. To be honest, the mages have different... Yeah, exactly what I was about to say. The mages have different skins on them, so... I'm not sure what exactly they do. Zhu zhu enemies appeared randomly teleporting. Zhu zhu. The game almost bugged out practically. Let's go over here. It's macaroni. Explosion. Genius maneuver with the mage. And now genius maneuver. And now the successful genius maneuver of a mage. Why can I not go there? Why was I not allowed to go there? I don't understand what this enemy is trying to achieve. I don't know, this enemy bugged out or something. Yeah, th there was an enemy bugged out in the teleporter. Um, yeah, you guys dash. I come here. Well, that's that's bad. You dash, I go here. Well, mistakes were made. Um, I guess we smack this. What the fuck? I don't see us avoiding. It's coming. Okay. Oh, it's this button. Okay. I get it. Oh, it didn't count for the button press? Oh, thank you. Ah. <sighs> Get bursted. Ah, of course, I myself got bursted too. Let's go away from the lasers. I'm still at 5, so I'm still healing every 4 kills. Still 5 focus, but I need to go back to 8 focus. To get that uh, every next uh, smack is gonna be a smack. Laser! What? Avoid. Smack. You guys stay there, please. Attack. Attack. Laser. Attack. Laser. I love this laser. This laser is fun. But safe you don't get focus. Oh, what's that guy? He has a spell. He, he's a caster. I can't dash over there because I'm gonna get smacked instantly. Um... There is a laser happening over there. Let's go here and see what happens. Okay, that's good. Uh, am I targeted? I don't think I'm targeted. Laser! What is that guy doing? Giving a shield to everybody. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Looks fair. Feels fair. Definitely isn't fair. Yeah, you continue casting your shield and all. I love you, doggo. Okay, we got a problem. Uh, let's dash over here. Doggo's toast. Let's go over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice. Got it, got it. Fill your ultimate, which I haven't used ever because it says it kills everything. Reduce the cost of run on skill by one. Slaying an enemy with a basic attack requires one charge. Oh, I like this. 
But what will I throw away? The shield? The leap damage or the heal? None of them. Pushes enemies back one tile in each direction and stuns them for two turns. Now this is good. Now this is a oh no we're dying type of deal. And uh, yeah, let's go. Okay. Okay. I think we start with a dash and a kill. No questions asked. And then we reverse do that again. Uh, I don't think I will be able to though. There was a healer that I never paid attention to. Dash over here, that thing comes next to us. Now we smack it. Now we dash over here, that mage is not gonna do anything. Get rid of this dog. Okay, the one dog hits the other dog. This guy's just waiting. Oh, he's still waiting. It was a trap! Shit. Uh, oh, how big is this? <laughs> it's not good at all. Okay, everything's attacking us here. If I move to the top, I'm getting hit. If I kill the bottom, I'm getting hit twice. I think I'm forced to do this and get a hit in. Of course. Now we do. We have double damage, but that thing's targeting us, so I can't actually use it per se. Let's just move. Let's uh, let's move again. I wanna I wanna set up my shield. That thing is boxing me in. Okay, now I can do a dash. Now, now I can do a dash back though. And now I can kill the dog. Nice. Now we can chase this guy down. We can go here. That thing's not biting. Still not biting. I am getting hit though. I've avoided this. That guy went through a laser? Seems like it. Time to chase down the healer. Time to chase down the support. Cast, man. You're not casting? Let's uh, reset up again. Okay, that thing went through the laser. Can you guys, like, go through the laser? Nice. He decided to cast. <laughs> Can you imagine this thing with focus? What? He can move while casting? I don't think so. Here we got this. Run. Oh. Done. Oh, this took like five minutes. Yeah, I'm definitely not playing with focus going down. Um, I guess we just dash over there and kill that dog right away. Now I can go to the mages. We're gonna have a problem if I stay here. There are two supports, are you insane? He should not be able to move. What is targeting me? Ah, through the wall. This is not good. Got rid of one. There's a very good chance. Don't move. Shit. Okay, enemies are staying there and getting hit. Uh, I don't have the maintaining damage thing. No, I cannot hit this, for example. But if I go down... Now I can hit it. No, Castro is attacking me right now. But now I can definitely hit it. 
Thank you. Nice. No, oh, that was almost a mistake. I'm not getting targeted. Everything's getting died. Well, 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 well. What does this guy do if he can't buff anybody? Okay, got a smack on him. Okay, got him. What a bad enemy. Tiring, ti tiring enemy. Um, let's dash to the bottom. And... Uh, no, that, that's an attack on the wolf. Uh, let's think about this. If I go to the top... Top's, by the way, left top. Top is this, bottom is this. If I go to the top, nothing's gonna dash. I can just do a simple move and kill it. Is anything targeting me? No, right? No. Got it. We go here. We do a dash. No, that shield. That shield destroyed all my plants. I want to smack this doggo. Oh, we're toast. At least I maintain my damage buff. I can do this. I can do this. The dog's gonna hit me for sure. I can dodge. I can kill this mage right now. And then the dog's gonna be behind me and I will not be able to avoid it. Okay. Now if I go left and right... Yeah, I should be able to get my shield back pretty much. Yeah, I got my shield back and all. Um, okay, I can go back. Now I can dash. Now I can smack this thing to toast. Now that mage can't even attack me. Wah! Nice. I still have my thing up ready. Theoretically speaking, I should dash up. Where's the button? The button is in the safe spot. Go here. We go here. We go here. We got a good uh, distance from our enemies. So we're pretty safe right now. We got a smog on him. Nice. That guy's about to try a heal or something. We're gonna smack him down. I can dash through him. I don't need to take the hit from the dog. He did the buff, but he paid with, for it. And still run away. Still run away. Still run away. Still run away. Do a simple step. Smack this thing. Very nice. That's toast. I'm close to this. Avoid the laser trap. Easy enough. Uh, run away. Go down. Send the dog off to another universe. Now the question is, can I dash through this? I'm stupid. Oh, it's uh, it's filled. We were lucky. It's time to chase down the support. Now we chase down the support. Please don't take a million years. Let me play. Let me change positions. Let me play. Trying to box in the support. Got him. The wrong the wrong time though. Uh, well, I have to go here though. I'm getting hit for sure. Actually, good thing that he's... The mages don't attack you all the time. No, I got boxed in by the mage. Damn it! Okay, what can I use as spells? Go. Well, let's charm this wolf. 50% of the time. It failed. Now we're getting hit because of it. I got the damn support. Damn it. At long last. 
Okay, time to fill up my shields. Get shielded. Avoid. Avoid. Turn back around. Avoid, avoid. Hit. Targets me. Avoid. Avoid. Go through. Get hit. Avoid. Go to the next one. Step on the lasers. Uh, go back and forth through the lasers. Back and forth through the lasers. Push towards the enemy. Let him attack us. Dash into him. Get a kill. Nah, tiring, tiring, tiring. Let's continue. Where's the boss? I can't imagine this whole thing with uh, the focus mechanic like it wants us to be. One step. Another step. Smack this guy. Try to avoid. Smack this guy. Dash over here. Smack this guy. Move next to him. Move next to him. Smack this. Over here. Block because uh, that's why I have that ability. Uh, charge up. I got hit. I just got hit. Oh no, I can avoid by being here. That's not helping us. I'm getting hit. We go with Typhoon. Tornado. Is this... I thought it was everywhere. Yep, everybody got stunned. We go here. It's not stunned anymore. We avoid. Okay, avoiding worked. We go here. Smack. Mm, I think we go here. And then here. Smack. Avoid. Chase down. Go here. It misses. This one though is stunned. Smack. Now I have. Uh, now I do maintain my my damage buff. This thing's chasing us down, and we won. Let's go. Boss. Boss. Ascala. The final boss. I'm gonna assume. God is a forder. I was not expecting to see a soul here. State your name. I don't remember. Impossible. No soul could get here alone without a strong link to their previous life. Although, yes, a stranger sense power within you. A power? Hmm, I see that you have been disrupting the place with your corruption. Me? Speak not. I can sense in your powers uh, that are not from your previous life. Uh, you must be the one uh, who has been tormenting the souls of my tower. Silence. I did not order you to offend excuses. I, Nascala, goddess of order, shall purify you and restore peace to this corrupted tower. Prepare yourself for warrior. Bring it. We might lose here once again. There is a, an arrow above me. What am I looking at? I don't know what I'm looking at. Is that... Okay, I'm not allowed to move towards there, I guess. Ne next, next turn I'm getting hit. Okay. I'm not allowed to move downwards. That's what that was, right? I'm still not allowed to move downwards. I like how we instantly got punished for something I didn't even know existed. Is this a time thing? Okay, I think I need to be as far away as possible from this thing. It's gonna ex Everything's gonna explode here. Let it explode. I'm gonna just... Keep okay, now I'm not allowed to move to the right. As far as I understand. I'm definitely not hitting this. Ah, yeah, it shows me. Ah, now, now I see it on the ground that I'm not allowed to go there. Uh, well, I'm getting hit here. I don't care, I'm setting up my shields. I'm not allowed to go downwards. Okay. I should also see that there are, like, winds all around. Let's go here. Let's go... Here. Here. How would I know that that was the next one? I guess because there is wind all around. If I'm not allowed... Okay, I got a good one. Okay, let's see. Maybe there is a tip somewhere, which I'm not seeing right now. Okay, I see the tip. The tip was that around there were flying these symbols. So this thing is going to be the next one. And uh, at the top left... Yeah, she has three flames. One flame. 
Two flame, three flames. Okay, I found all the tips. I got this now. Keep us still not going down. Now she has four flames. And uh, it's the, the right one. Okay, so I go one, two, three, four. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I just had to go through the mechanics once. Three steps, and it's the next symbol. Okay, one, two, three. Easy enough. Next puzzle. Okay, I'm not allowed to go downwards. And the next one is the yellow one. And after that, the... Wait, what? Showed yellow, and then I think this, and then this, and then this. I guess everything's gonna go off at the same moment. Um, I'm gonna stick to this, so when, it, as, when it's about to explode, I can just smack it and stay in the safe corner, hopefully. So, theoretically speaking, I have... Either one or two turns. So now either everything's gonna explode at the same time. Or um, or I will have one more turn. Okay, so that explodes. I'm gonna assume that this explodes and instantly the next one goes. I was right about it. Now the next one. Uh-oh. Ah, classic. Classic fair gameplay right here. Um, I'm gonna just jump over there so that I have more choices. Well, more choices or not, I'm not allowed to go back, and uh, I had no choice at all, it seems. So we're gonna take the hit, which is uh, blocked, by the way, so we're pretty good to go here. Hit me. There was no choice, really. There was no choice, pretty much. Uh, I'm gonna do a simple move, and now I'm not allowed to go downwards. Okay. That's really bad. Okay, so yellow is second, and green is third. Um, yellow is second and green is third. I cannot attack yellow and green at the same time. So, I'm just gonna go for the kill on yellow. Or actually the kill on green. The next turn I will just have to smack between those two. But should be easy enough, theoretically speaking. Either way, it's going to be three moves. One, two, three. Am I allowed to step on the green? I guess I am. One. Uh... Two. Oh shit, I, I can't actually do it. Oh no, I can. Three. Now that thing's attacking. We go over here. Now this thing should attack. I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay, I'm dashing over there and let's, let me get hit. I shield this. Oh, this makes the turn pass. I do not know that that makes the turn pass. I will go up. I'm not gonna go down there. I'm just gonna move around. Get my infinite damage up. And yeah. Can I see now what she's doing? Okay, first is triangles, then it's purple, then it's yellow. Okay, let's go and smack the triangles first. I'm not allowed to go back. Okay, I cannot go to the triangles at all. Forget it. By the way, do you see this? This is blue. It leads you. But if I go with a shift, then it becomes how it should be. So that's definitely a bug. Um... Yeah, I mean, I can't actually do infinite moves, so we go here, we go here, we go here. I think purple is second, so here, nice, and now here. Thank you. Okay, okay, I'm still not allowed to go downwards. If it now, if, if again it says I'm not allowed to go downwards, I can't actually do anything. Okay, I'm not allowed to go up. Triangle first, and then yellow. Okay, we go for the triangle then. I have three steps. One, two, three. I can't make it in time. Yeah, I don't see how I can make it in time. Because it's one, two, three. And then it's gonna target us. Yeah, definitely not happening. But I can hit this in time. So, one. I can go up. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna do one. Um, two. Now I hope that this thing is not gonna hit that spot. Three. Okay, it's hitting the spot. So I can't actually do what I wanted to do. We're just avoiding then. Okay, can I get no left, please? Give me no left, no down. Okay, we're going for the yellow then. Three step, four, four ones, and yellow is second. 
Okay, so... Yellow being second is so bad. I guess I will get hit on purpose. One... Two... Three... Um... Four? I can't do it. Not yeah, I can't do it anymore. Damn it. It hits. And now the next one hits right away. And I can't be next to it. Man, this, this is such a boring boss fight. I, I mean, I understand that I'm failing, okay? I do understand that. But the boss fight itself is boring. Three. Okay. By the way, I don't even know how you would beat this if you don't have the block. So, we start with the triangle now. We go... Okay, let me calculate. One... Two, three, it has four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Smack. Uh, are you serious? I guess it's serious. Hit me. Hit me. You know, if, if now it says no, I don't know. Whatever you want, game. No up. This was... If, if I could guess, I would guess that that would be it. Zigzagging. Pass. Give me a no left. Okay, no left is decent. Two, three flames. Four flames. Decent. So we go... One, two, three, four... Okay, I cannot arrive over there at the boss, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But I can't go to the boss. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. If I go here and the bus is no down, I can go up and zigzag here. If I go here and the bus is no down, I can go up. If it goes no left, yeah, I, I, this is the safest spot. Because if I go here and the bus says... Yeah, let's go here. Get hit by one. No matter what it says now, I will be able to do something. Okay, it says no down. So I will be zigzagging. Four, four pips. One, two, three, four. No. One, two, three, four. No. One, two, three, four. I can't. I can't do it. One, two, three, four. I have to do two jumps. I have to do one jump. And one jump is not possible. Otherwise, I have to do three jumps. One, two, three, four. Yeah, but I will get hit if I do that. I'm not gonna get hit. Go zigzag. It doesn't give me a good pattern. We're not taking the risk. Here, hit me. Again. Again. Give me three steps, please. Not four, three. Fucking it. Uh. Well. Yeah. And that's gonna be no down and we're toast. Okay, we're safe. Give me... Three, two, fucking game. Give me three. No up. Three, 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 three. Thank you. Thank you. One, one, two, three. I'm gonna get hit, most likely. Punished. I did not get punished. And now we fight. No more shenanigans. Okay. I have my power-up still, so... No way. Oh, that was a mistake, lady. I hate that I cannot maintain my damage boost. Smackaroni! Run out. Run in. Run out. Run in. Dodge. Aha! Uh -huh. Damage for two. And she missed. You run out. This is such a more exciting battle. So run out. Do the same as before. Run in. Oh, run out. Run in. Aha! Uh -huh. Smackaroni! Miss. Smackaroni! Whoop. Run out. That's the whole boss fight, by the way, it seems. Whoa, awesome, by the way, animation-wise. Okay, run out. Run in. Smack. Should be dashing all the time to the zig and the zag. Smack. 
Smack. Smack. That was it. The most joke fight in the game ever seen. Finisher! Who says this? The priest? Who said that? I don't want to finish the goddess. But why did she fight me? So what will it be? Uh... You know, because because she was boring, I think I'm gonna go with this end here. But uh I guess the sense here. Because she was boring. Yes, now's our chance to save all the souls who've been trapped in this nonsense. How could I uh ah uh, uh, uh. Bahaha, I'm with evil guy. Sweet dreams, dear sister. Congratulations, my little friend. I've done well in choosing you. What now? I assume you want to ascend to your afterlife. Yes, yes. The thing is, don't deal. Uh, I don't deal in that afterlife stuff. Though I love to reincarnate you or something else. I've invested too much time to let you go this easily. What do you mean? Enjoy your freedom, little warrior, or at least that little that you have left of it. Wait, no. Endless mode unlocked. I want playing it. I will not play endless mode. Wait, what? So if I didn't kill her, there was more? If... Okay, if there was a secret boss or something, which happens when you don't kill her, I hate the game even more than I normally do. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't hate the game. I like the idea, but there are so many things right now in this game that I definitely don't like. Main menu. Endless mode. By the way, that you can enter codes, and those codes send you to, act, uh, to different acts, instead of act, uh, starting at act 1. Ultimates. Aha. Uh -huh. I never use the ultimate, by the way. Because of this part. Any unit hit by a meteor instantly dies. That means you can actually die. I'm 100% I'm, I'm sure of it. Because I have played this game, as I said. So, either way, I think we're gonna end this here. 1 hour and 40 minutes. Damn it! I didn't want to do a 1 hour and 40 minutes video. Ah. Well, it doesn't matter. Either way, I think I'm gonna end this here. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, then uh, please drop a like. It helps out the channel. I'm not gonna play this anymore. I I find it a bit repetitive in, in my mind. So the game is fun, the idea is fun, but with only 10 passives and only being able to have three of them. Did you see the block passive? How the how overpowered it was? That's like a hundred percent sure you have a hundred percent of the time you have to use that passive. Like there's no doubt in my mind. If you don't have the passive that blocks a hit when you're at five charges, you're dead. And if you use the skills while you have that passive, you're just digging your own grave. So I don't know. Either way, that's going to be it for today. Sorry for the long video, but I wanted to one-shot this. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching. See you guys around.